hi guys lens here so in this video we have this issue where it says iphone unavailable what happens when you put in the password several times incorrectly it will give you a minute it will give you five minutes it will give you 15 minutes and then it may give you 30 minutes and then it will just be permanent right so if yours is permanent i am going to show you step by step how you're going to fix this i had a video in the past uh, that one will help you to get this fixed very very fast right but i am going to walk you through the entire steps on how to fix this so as i am stating to you guys this can happen with any iphone basically any iphone right so it can happen with the 11 it can also happen with the pro max so i am going to show you how to fix this issue with any iphone well if you are on the screen you can basically just wait for 12 minutes but if it is permanent i'm going to show you how to fix this right so you want to download itunes a lot of persons ask me in the past where can i get itunes do i have to pay for it is it free to answer all those questions it is free you can download this for windows or your mac computer right so what we need to do now so we need to turn the phone off now that the device is turned off let's go volume up volume down you want to hold the power and this should take us to the recovery mode volume up volume down power right so now that we are into the recovery mode it's going to connect to our itunes but first let me show you how we are going to also connect this one volume up volume down power up down power up down power right so we are now into recovery mode here on the 11 pro max right sometimes you may have to try uh more than one time to get it into the recovery mode but the phone in which we are going to work on is this one right so you want to plug up your phone now that your phone is plugged up the first thing you're going to see on your computer is this screen and it will say there's a problem with your iphone and it needs to be updated or restored so you can update or restore most likely it will give you the option to update and restore at the end but in this video we are going to hit restore and then it's going to say here as i stated before restore and update it will erase it will erase everything off of your device so once you click that and you agree to terms and condition it will now download the system update well according to my internet speed it will take about 11 minutes your internet speed may give you a longer time or a shorter time it all depends on your internet connection speed I am going to pause the video until the system update is downloaded whatever you do don't unplug your phone but if it happens that your phone restarted in which sometime it happens right so if it happens that your phone restarted you want to wait until the download is completed and then you want to put back your phone into the recovery mode when it is finished downloading and then you will just update and restore your iphone so i'll be resuming the video after the download so we are at few seconds remaining and the phone is still connected if the phone is not connected no need to worry just wait until it's completed then you connect the phone in my case the phone is still connected 
so what should happen is that soon as the download is finished the phone will immediately start restoring and updating I'm walking you through the entire process you will see processing file and as soon as the file finish processing then you know what's coming next the phone is going to start updating and as I stated before this will work with any iPhone once you have the issue where your iPhone is unavailable if it happens that your iPhone get disconnected or restart while restoring do put it back into recovery mode so you can see at the top there where it says extracting software and as soon as it finish extracting the software the update process the update process will be starting and also you do not want to do like me you do not want to hold your iPhone while doing this because if you do have a connection problem with the cable and the phone you can mess up the entire process and have to do it all over again I am doing this for this video and I know that the connection is very tight with the port so here is the iPhone restarting right the software is still extracting and we may have to put the phone back into the download mode so this is what we're going to do quickly as I state this do happen and while we waiting for the download it do happens it do happens while we wait for the download sometimes the phone restart and um, when it restart we just have to start all over again so now let me just show you on the screen it says that we must restore that's what we're going to do we're going to restore and update and here's the other screen where it says that we should restore and update so that's what we're going to do it's now preparing iPhone restore I'm actually trying to make this video quick or I could have actually used a screen recorder but however it's just a simple easy process we are doing here so you should see the process showing up on the screen as well on the phone it may take some time but here we go so this is the process here and i'm just going to walk you through the entire thing and also you will see it on the computer as well at the top where it says restoring iPhone software it may take some time so we have to be patient
we are actually finished right and you will see a small dialog box on iTunes that will say your phone has successfully been restored and as you can see the phone is currently off so I'm just waiting for it to turn on when it turn on it will update itself you will see it updating okay as I'm saying guys you can now unplug your USB cable this is the screen in which you will see when you are finished right so you can now go ahead and you can just unplug your cable if you wish you can unplug your cable if you want to keep it plugged in just in case your battery is low or something you can plug it back in but once it's completed you can unplug your cable so now it's just updating on, it, on the phone itself we're just waiting it out So guys, this is the welcome screen and we can just go ahead and set up the phone. So it will ask you to put in your Wi-Fi. Uh, the reason for this is because of your iCloud, you will need to enter. your iCloud information if any and this is the process in which you have to go through if you don't have your iCloud info you will be locked out of your iPhone that's quite important if your phone does not have any Apple ID or iCloud inside of the phone you should be good So if you want to set up your phone or you want to restore it from an Android phone or from your PC or from iCloud back up, you can do so here. So guys, this is how you fix the issue where you have your iPhone unavailable. I hope that this was helpful and if it was let me know in the comment section below that's how you do it if you need any help or assistance with anything let me know in the comment section below and also do like this video and let me know in the comment section if it was helpful bye bye